Hi, welcome to another session on MVC. So now we are going to discuss about a concept called custom model binder. As you know, we talked about filters and we try to understand places when the MVC can be customized. So we discussed uh, uh, these places way back in MVC lifecycle uh, discussion itself. So now I have a simple demonstration wherein I have um, a very simple model in the code. I have a class called as employee with two parameters or two properties number and name. I have another class here called as a DB simulation which is database simulation class and which simply has a method called as get all employees returns a list of employees which is in turn static. There is no specific purpose of having it as a static. This is just for quick coding. I have referred this as static. And then I am going to return all the data which is hard coded right now. And one can very well pull the data from database here itself. Now if you look at the controller, we have a home controller here. That home controller, we have got index method, two index methods rather. First index method returns the empty view. Second index method captures the data. So what do we have in this empty view in the first place? So as you can notice, I'm creating a view data with the key called as EMPS and I'm going to assign it a object of type multi-select list. Why? Um, this is the object which is going to be helpful for this. If at all somebody has to show uh, maybe a data which is in a list box kind of a data wherein we have two fields, one is called as data field and one is called as text field, which means present something different like we represent in combo boxes in normal ASP.NET, present something different and select something different. So what I have here in a multi-select list is, first of all, I have a collection, which obviously I'm calling from DB simulations, static method called as get employees. And then we have two parameters here. One is called as data value field, which means select the number and represent the name, which means what will be shown to you in the text form is name and you'll be able to select that value in let's say multi-select or list box or combo box. And then after selection, what you will be given is number only. And that, and after this view data assignment, I'm going to return an empty view, which is index. So let me show you what's in index view right now. So open index view and in index view, I have done, done nothing, only one line here. That's HTML list box EMPS, which means I'm asking HTML helper to have a list box for me, which is multiple select, and then try to use EMPS. Now by default, when you say HTML dot list box, when you specify EMPS as a data, uh, you can say a key, it will by default try to search the EMPS as a key inside view data collection itself. And then I have simple submit button, which simply conveys that select and submit. Now what happens is we have got method post. So obviously we'll be posting back to index method, which has got EMPS as a, you can say parameter taken. So post will happen to index method and look at the parameter expected. So for every parameter that we have used, we expected a normal single object itself and which was ultimately model all the time. But this time the parameter is different. This time I want MVC engine to offer me list of employees which are basically selected from the uh, list box itself. Can MVC do this for me? Let me put a breakpoint here and hit F5. So let me start debugging. So as you can see, if I say right click and uh, go to view source, we have got select here, ID becomes EMPS. Multiple selection is by default allowed. And we have got option and select op, maybe values. So Sachin will be displayed, but value selection will be one. If Rahul is selected, then value two will be selected and so on. So I'm going to select now Sachin and Saurav, which means one and four. And now I'm going to click on the submit button when it hits to server side, let's see what comes in EMPS. As you can see, what comes in EMPS is zero right now. 
So which means MVC engine is not capable of constructing this complex object for me and which is obviously everyday need for MVC developer. So in such cases, how do I get the different collection as a parameter or a completely customized or complex parameter in the um, action method itself. So it is not like MVC is not able to get the data. MVC is able to get the data that is 1 and 4, which is number 1 and number 4. But the problem is, after getting that 1 and 4, what we want to do is, we want to convert that 1 and 4 into list of employees by ourselves. Only MVC is not able to do that. So then before the call reaches to index method, can I form this list by myself? And where shall I do that job of that custom coding also? Now that job is normally done in the life cycle before your index method gets called, before post. How and where? So we have a concept which is called as model binder concept. So I have a class in helper folder, if you can see. I have a class called, empty class right now, called as H model binder. And in the H model binder, it's empty class right now. So I want to take complete control before complete control complete control over the data submitted after post, but before it reaches to index method. So then I can manipulate that data. So H model binder is a class, and now the class which is going to go and handle this for me is called as model binder. Any class can act as a model binder if I inherit from model binder interface. Let me implement interface now. And we have here a method called model, bind model which returns some object. Some object in the sense any complex object that we feel that we should create. And then if you can see we have got this binding context through which we can get many other things which are basically posted back. So I am going to put a breakpoint here, return null initially from here. And I'm going to tell this index method that please take the EMPS data from so-called bind, my binder, which is called as H model binder. So we have an attribute at a parameter level, which is called as model binder attribute. And we can convey the type of the binder that one should use is H model binder. Now let's see what happens if I again run the program. Again hit F5. Let's select Sachin and Saurav again and click. And before I return null from here, let me show you what comes in binding context. So if you go to binding context, you can see that the values collected binding context dot, you may find out the value provider. We have got five values available inside that form provider. Maybe I should show you the code itself, why not? Yeah, binding context, which comes up as a parameter here, value provider, and I would like to get a value from the view data, which is EMPS. And the parameter, like EMPS may offer me all the collection. We are not interested in entire collection. We are only interested in attempted value, which means which values user attempted to select only. And then based on that, we will be selecting the entire data. Let me show you what happens now. Again, hit F5. Select Sachin and Saurav and select and submit. Now observe this step by step. First step, we have incoming data, which is one and four. So I selected Sachin, I selected Saurav. So I have one and four selected as attempted values right now. And using this one and four, now I want to select all the data from, as we have IDs right now. So obviously one can very well create a collection based on one and four for employee class objects. And then if I continue, I'm just using here incoming data split by comma, you get a collection. Using the collection one and four, we are just going to go and use a select filter using select filter in the sense, uh, kind of you can say uh, extension method. Using extension method, I'm going to get all the employees from DB simulation 
which has got values which are similar to the data being passed which is the split data 1 and 4. So let me run this and in a final data as you can see we have got a simple EMP1 and EMP4 over here and this final data will be written into index method. Let me carry a cursor now and you can see that selected data is available as a parameter now and then we will be returning back to home index method. So if you see important point to note here is only one that is you can very well take a control over data being submitted before even control comes to your method using a concept called as model binder. Now this is going to be a very important concept because every time you can't just rely on a single object of a model type you may have to collect the data which is complex data or manipulate the data somewhere else before the method even starts. So this is going to be a very helpful feature in MVC in further applications as well.